Hello everyone, this is me Ali Raza and um, I'm a Google Art Certified Advertising Professional and my company is a Google Partner Company. This video is going to be a step-by-step -step detailed tutorial on Google Shopping Ads. People who want to run Google Shopping Ads, people who want to know about what is Google Shopping Ads, how you can do it. So uh, I will be explaining you about uh, along with the benefits of small comparison details on how why shopping ads are good and how you can run your uh, how you can run shopping ads for your uh, website products or service uh, products so stay with me in this video let's get started with it so uh, the okay so for those who don't know ideally it's very good if you're a retailer uh, shop uh, or someone who sell products Google Shopping ads can be an ideal thing for that and for uh, running a Google Shopping campaign you need an active Google Merchant Center account where you have uploaded your products I will also create a detailed tutorial on how you can upload your products on Google Merchant Center so that you can synchronize with Google Shopping campaign to run it now move on to the next question and <laughs> that is uh, benefits what are the benefits of running uh, google shopping ads i can run regular ads so why shopping ads so because google shopping ads can help you with improved presence they are shown above the regular search results they get better leads better sales and better benefit which is why it is very important to have your google shopping campaign ads for your business for instance if i have to show you an example and here i can show you an example as well first is i want to search on shoes now you can see that uh, these are the uh, shopping ads results and you what's the difference between shopping ad results and the regular results are that is with the shopping ads you can see the product images in google search results along with the pricing and brand name which makes it much more attractive uh, for a user to buy on uh, to have a uh, user connection like uh, more engaging more uh, uh, more engaging and more eye catchy let's say if i search on buy shoes even you can see that the local search results are being shown below the uh, ads of uh, google shopping ads and let's say if i search on buy joggers online now you can see that again these ads are being shown above the regular search results and regular ads which makes it a much more important now you can see these are the regular ads add one two three these are the regular ad results they are being shown below the first thing which is shown in the search results are google shopping ads now the thing is these are the regular ads which are in image text based ads when you are running on uh, google search campaign all you can do is you can run simple search text based ads you cannot run shopping ads now you can see with the google shopping ads you can show images more eye catching more like you know uh, you have seen an image can speak 1000 words along with the pricing the brand name so this can definitely generate better conversions for the user now move on to the toughest part of the video and uh, that is on how to create i mean Google Ads shopping campaign setup live. So I will show you live how you can do it. For instance, this is my test account. And if I have to create it, the first thing I need to do is I need to link it with my Google Merchant Center account so I can show those products over here. Now, since it's a test account, I cannot show it. I will also show you like you all you have to do is you have to go over here tools and settings and then you have to go to one two three fourth number linked accounts once you go over here what you have to do is you have to search for merchant and and here you will be shown like how you have to link from merchant center so from the merchant center you have to send a request from merchant center to get it approved now i will move on to one of my client let this client this client has a merchant center already connected okay now what i have to do is i go i will now go to linked accounts and i will see 
okay this client has already attached its uh, merchant center now the thing is what i will give you a general overview of merchant center this is the client merchant center details where there are around 3700 ads which are being already uploaded over here and now he can run ad for any of them through google ads now what i do is if i move to this account this is a test account now let's say if i create a new campaign if i create a new campaign there are actually two ways to run google shopping ads one is through uh, performance max campaign and the second is a standard shopping campaign for instance you are all you have to you have to go to sales okay with the conversion conversion goal now you are being given you can either run that in a shopping campaign or performance max performance max is actually a google new algorithm to run a combined campaign uh, bundle campaign for where you can run for google search google display uh, youtube shopping all together combined over here this is known as a performance max and uh, if you only want to run for shopping campaign you have to select it. so either of these two can uh, you can create a good uh, campaign shopping campaign so let's say if i select performance max campaign i will have to create a install a code and now you can see that i have to go through these these things the issue is basically that i cannot create a campaign either why because this account does not have a google merchant center linked account with. now because performance max campaign can be used for multiple purpose which is why it is it is showed me start but let's say if i say if i go with a sales campaign and if i directly go with a shopping campaign so they will give me an error that before we go further you need to link your merchant center account with your product data so that you can that data can be synchronized over here now this account has a synchronized data now if i move to this product groups okay if i'm in the right campaigns okay now you can see this client has around 3698 products already being shown here synchronized here by uh, when he linked his account uh, with a, a google merchant center now if i have to run an ad for a specific let uh, let me show you how you can do it so all you have to do is you have to go to all campaigns select a new campaign and here let's say i go with a sales campaign and here i select with a shopping campaign now because the account is already linked it has detected my account uh, merchant center now the country where the products are being sold now i have been given two options as i told you that you can run campaign in two ways either through performance max campaign or either through standard shopping campaign so let's say because the shopping uh, performance max is a combination so let's say if i run for a standard shopping campaign now we'll move it and i will name it for instance if i have to name this campaign as a b c now it's a now next uh, part comes is a bidding part i have created a specific video in my google play ads playlist where i have discussed in detail regarding the bidding impact of bidding and how bidding can uh, affect your position on google ads and how it can benefit you so not it doesn't necessarily mean that the higher amount you put will actually generate more sales or improve your rankings because google form formula is working more for quality score as compared to the bidding amount so now once you enter this amount let's say if i enter over here at 200 200 dollars this is my uh, uh, amount and let's say now move on to the next part and that is a search network part now in search network part the thing is i can either create a search network where uh, my ads will be shown on google search results and if i want the partners who are using google search on their website to show ads if i have to do that i need to include search partners now who are the google search partners for instance if I, there is a uh, blog which i primarily use and this uh, person uses google search uh, on his own site so let's say if i search on buy joggers so now you can see that this guy is using search results from google so in case if you want uh, your uh, product to be shown on google partner results as well so you have to select it over here include google search if you do not want and if you only want to show on google network then you can remove it from here 
Ideally, if you ask me, Google Search Network is definitely the best option, and it generates, and it has already generated good results for me. So I can say that promoting only on the search network can be a better choice. But there is no harm if you have a big budget in trying Google Search and Net Partners. You never know. One thing not working for me. that doesn't necessarily mean that it doesn't work for you it can work for you because there are so many factors area targeting niche so i mean definitely it can work as well now let's move on to the next part and ads will be shown by on on all eligible devices by default you can remove it later on so now let's say if i wanted to show it in a particular country for instance australia country i i won't change and i have also created another video on location targeting where i have discussed in detail regarding how you can add locations or how you can uh, remove locations and what are the impact of uh, uh, targeting a specific location how you can exclude a specific location and not only the location 5 to 10 km radius ke area as well or two or whatever the uh, area you want along with a specific area where do, where do you want to show your ad or where do you not want to show your ad Now let's move on to the create your ad group. For this, if I name this ad group as ad group one, and I put the bit over here as two point two two three, okay. Okay. Now uh, it has been created with all products. All products I have. This new shopping campaign has been created. Now if I want to run for a particular product, because if I move over here. you can see that all the products are being shown here like three the if i do not want to advertise on a particular uh, if i do not want to run an ad for a particular uh, product or if i only want to run for a particular product i how you can do it so you have to move again to products here product groups here and you can go over here and select this sub ad sub division okay i have divided my ad group i mean the client has divided into various ad for instance he has divided based on the mobile phone cases accessories housing trim on various things as well now if you want to for instance if i want to run, run an ad for mobile phone cases now because i have divided it it's very easy a click of a button and all of the 2883 products which are mobile phone cases i can show it over here the other formula is you can select manually by item id Okay. These are all the products which I have. Now, if I want to run for this, this, and this, I have to. Let's say I am running for these three uh, products. Okay. Now I have selected my CPC as well. Now I will save it. And now you can see that. three products are being selected as over here now the fourth product is everything else in all product one way of not advertising on that is by removing my bidding to 0.0 the other way is by selecting this exclude once i select this exclude all the products will be excluded and this campaign will only work for these three products which i have selected now it's a very easy to run google shopping ads campaign and i have discussed in detail on uh, how you can run it you can further diversify your campaign and further improve your campaign based on the keywords uh, you choose and uh, based on the audience you select so that is how you can further diversify and improve your campaign targeting so for instance if i want to do select a for a specific audience segment i can narrow down my settings and if i can select on this is a mobile phones mobile phones technology i can select from here cameras lifestyle bidding or whatever i want i can select over here i can also do based on a uh, targeting as well you can see here so one is observation and the other is uh, category wise targeting i can do either of the thing so once you are done with this this is how you and if you want to add a particular negative keyword you can also add over here for instance if there is a word free i don't want my ad to be run on a free word i will add this word as a free as a negative keyword because whenever there is a term or a query search which is known as a free my ad won't be shown to the people okay and if there is a let's say there is a complain word that is also very commonly used negative keyword so you can also use it over here 
and let's say if i use it and there is also another one and that is the side effects because i uh, we set up campaigns for different clients so we know it so if you are trying to set up campaigns these things and these three keywords are actually very good uh, to add on the negative keyword list okay there are some brands which are highly luxurious brands where uh, uh, even the cheap word is not good so now once you are done with it and that is how your campaign is being created now it's very easy to create a shopping campaign but all you have to do is you have to have a google merchant center account linked with it now let me remove it so they that's so that was the campaign and the other can be a performance max campaign as well so like there are two the client is already using the performance max campaign and uh, again the results may vary depending on the product or uh, thing you are promoting so with this uh, let me end my video over here because i discuss in detail on how to set up a google ad shopping campaign i try to be very uh, uh, i mean i try to be in very detail regarding how you can set up and what are the things which are required in order to set up the good campaign and if you have any questions comments suggestions concerns you are more than welcome to add in the uh, comments box i will be looking forward for your comment box and if you want us to help you in uh, setting up google ads campaign or facebook ads campaign or seo campaign or web development services my team is ready to help you you can see the link in the description box on how you can reach us so thank you for watching my video thank you and bye bye